going to tell you guys the truth about the Nike SB, Ben & Jerry's Chunky Dunky, and any Nike SB release. In this video, I'm going to tell you guys some things that people just will not tell you and not expose the truth about this because they're worried about themselves, they're worried about their own pockets, and they don't want to exploit the system and then ruin this for themselves so it makes sense. But in this video, I'm going to tell you guys the truth about the Nike SB Chunky Dunky release and honestly, just the entire truth behind any Nike SB release. The Nike SB Ben & Jerry's Chunky Dunky releases on Tuesday the 26th and I'm going to tell you guys right now, a lot of people already have the sneaker. The sneaker is backdoored like crazy, guys. And this is just going to be the truth about the Nike SB releases and just the truth about the Chunky Dunky. So a few days ago, I was on StockX and I decided to take this screenshot of the Nike SB Ben & Jerry's Chunky Dunky resell. Does anything look a little weird or suspicious to you? Is it weird that 8, 8.5, 9.5, 10, 11... Is it weird that all those are the same exact price? That's a Nike SB retail store doing that. These stores are not monitored and not cared for nearly as much as Jordan's and your regular Nike releases. When it comes to Nike SB, Nike obviously doesn't care. They just let backdooring happen. There's nothing really much they can do because they're getting their money either way. So I don't think Nike really cares too much because as long as their product gets out there, the hype is there, they make their money, the product sells out, and Nike has all the hype that they want and need. So I don't think Nike really cares too much. How do I know that this is a store doing that? Because it's pretty obvious that they have them in hand already. They're the only places that have them in hand already, right? Unless if they backdoored them. And if they're backdooring them, this is the same thing as putting them on StockX, right? They're backdooring them for themselves or they're backdooring them to someone else. Either way, it's backdooring. The sneaker is backdoored like crazy. So, with that being said, let's talk about raffles online. I'm going to expose that too. A lot of these raffles that you see with, you know, shops, a lot of them, I'm not going to call any names, but a lot of them, they're not doing the legit way. A lot of them are having a raffle just to increase and build their follower count. And it works, obviously. But as far as the sneaker goes, they already know who won. They already backdoored a bunch of pairs. They already sold a bunch of pairs. People who wanted them already have them. The shoes are already done. They might put out a handful of pairs to make it look more legit. But majority of the stock is already backdoored. It's the way it is. This is how it works with Nike SB releases. This is not new to Nike SB. I've been into sneakers since 2010. I've seen this countless times times over and over and over again when it comes to these Nike SB releases. Nike SB releases, for the most part, are not on the sneakers app. Lately, they have been because of what's going on in the world, but other than that, for the most part, Nike SB releases are not even on the sneakers app. Nike just gives these shoes to the shop owners, and then the shop owners are in charge of making sure that they pay their bill to Nike. They're $100 retail. They probably pay anywhere from probably 50, 60 bucks for the shoe, and Nike gets their money. They backdoor the shoe and they get their money. They make more money on the shoe than Nike does. This is just the truth. This is stuff that no one's going to tell you guys. So with all that being said, this sneaker, the Chunky Dunky, was backdoor like crazy. Guys, this is not only applying to the Nike SB, Chunky Dunky, the Ben & Jerry's collab. This actually is like with every Nike SB. Every SB, this is the truth. This is how it works. It's based on who you know, how you know them, and money. That's all it is, guys. It's backdoor season on Nike SBs. Nike SBs are more limited than every other Jordan or Nike sneaker for the most part, but they also get backdoored the most. Like, out of all the stock, it's 90% backdoored. It's just the way it is. It's based on who you know, money, and, you know, how you know them. That's really it, and your connection with them. If you're looking to make some connects, I can maybe do a separate video on that, on how you can build connects in the sneaker game. Let me know down below if you want that. But hey, I'm just here to expose the truth, guys. Do not get your hopes up for the Nike SB Chunky Dunky release. Don't get your hopes up for pretty much any Nike SB. It's been like this forever. Like, Nike SBs have always been backdoored. It's just the way it is. So if you take an L on the sneakers app on Tuesday, Move on, move on, that's what I'll be doing. Unless if you wanna pay resale, go ahead and pay that resale price for this SB or any Nike SB for that matter. But guys, this is just the truth behind Nike SB releases. I'm just exposing everything to you, telling you guys the truth. Nike SB releases are backdoored like 
crazy because they retail for $100. Everybody knows that they're going to go for more than $100. Stock is not nearly as much as like a, say, a regular Jordan release. They're not sold at regular Champs and Foot Lockers. They're sold through like mom and pop shops and smaller boutiques. And that's just the way they handle the releases. They backdoor everything. It is what it is. You either play the game or you ignore it and move on to the next release. That's just the way it is when it comes to Nike SB. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts, your opinions on Nike SB releases. It is what it is, man. There's nothing we can do about it. Hopefully one day Nike can change this up. <sighs> but man, it's just the way it is when it comes to Nike SB releases. I'm just exposing everything. I'm not calling out any shops. No shots fired. When it comes to Nike SB releases, it's not what it seems like at all. Guys, trust me, these sneakers are backdoored like no other. And resale is crazy because of it. It just makes resale go up even more. It makes it harder for the regular consumer to cop these sneakers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Nike. ESB releases. With all that being said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop always dropping that fire. Straight fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.